Morning. Well, afternoon. Despite the fact I was awake for a solid 25 hours, I got an absolutely incredible six hours sleep. I'm fucking knackered again. So yeah, that's two days in a row where I've done over 24 hour days and slept less than eight hours. Roll on Friday is all I can say, because Friday morning, I can walk out of work and not go back for eight days. And I fucking need that holiday. I really need a fucking holiday. Well, on the upside, I don't feel like shit as much as I did yesterday. I still don't feel great because, you know, six hours sleep after 25 hours of being awake, that isn't the best. It's just not the best. But... I forgot I put shit behind my door, it didn't open properly. <sighs> but yeah, I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday, I definitely feel a bit better. So it should be a better day. Yet another healthy breakfast. This glass definitely was not stolen from a pub. I'd never do that. One thing I hate about being in the conservatory is birds on the fucking roof. It is so loud, it just sounds like it's hammering it down with rain because they'll just jump down and go <laughs> as they're fucking walking. Will you fuck off? Yeah, that's right, dickhead, fuck it off. Right, I've just worked something out, which is just confusing. And that is... The video for Vlogtober on Friday isn't going to be a normal Vlogtober vlog. It's going to be more topical. Uh, mainly because when I'm working nights, well, because I'm working nights, it, my days are just not right at all. I've got less days than there actually are in a week. Because basically you have seven days where it's more like I have six. And that's just because on my first day off, I wake up, go to work, come home and go to bed that night. Which is why I do 25 hour days. And doing that means if I'm trying to put a video up of that day that night I'm gonna have to try and finish the video edit it render it and upload it all in the space of about 20 minutes and that doesn't happen so I'm gonna have to put a uh, it will still be vlogtober it will still be in the vlogtober playlist and everything but it won't be a daily vlog that you'll be seeing on Friday. So I've decided to... Uh, in fact, I'll warn you now, it will be a depressing video. Because a while ago I said I'd do a video on why did I just disappear off the face of the internet for a couple of weeks. And considering that I'm doing these sort of videos, which are... They're not... They're not over the top. They are just very much this is what I'm dealing with I decided this series would be a good time to put it in so on Friday you'll find out why I just didn't do anything for a couple of weeks but like I said I warn you now it'll be a depressing one most of these videos are depressing I'm fucking shocked at the moment I've come into work and it's all been done people on the day should actually did their job what? That shit never happens. That's twice in a year and a half now. Don't know what the fuck's going on. Still, I'm not going to fucking complain. I've got an easy night now. Everything's been done. I've got to wait about an hour before my delivery to get it. I'm going to eat. Because I haven't done enough of that lately. That was a weird night. Uh... 
It, it was weird because it was good. Nothing really went wrong, and people did their jobs. I'm not used to this. I'm used to going in and fixing people's fuck-ups. Not going in and being surprised that, oh my god, people have done the stuff they're paid for. It's quite nice. It's not going to happen again. That's twice in one and a half years it's happened. There's a low chance it'll happen again. But yeah, the start of the night was piss easy because I had nothing to do until my delivery got there, which was two hours late. But it didn't matter because at four o'clock in the morning, I had someone in to help me finish it off because they've now decided that I was right and it is a two-man job, so I get three hours of help, which actually meant everything got done. And I mean absolutely everything got done. I can't fucking believe it. One and a half years of moaning and bitching and whining and just complaining about how shit people are, how little staff there is, how I can't do this on my own, I'm running myself into the ground. And all of a sudden it sunk into their big heads, their big empty heads. But they're doing something about it. I'm fucking happy. I'm not used to this. It's weird. Although when I left work, it wasn't raining. And by the time I got home, I was soaked completely through my levers, through my clothes, through my skin. I was just wet. Within about two minutes of leaving work, the heavens fucking opened. And as soon as I got home, it stopped. I mean, it's sunny out there now. Someone's got it in for me. Oh yeah, you had a really good night. You're going to get wet on the way home. Well, that wasn't the most fun video I've recorded. Uh, yeah, that video will be up... Tomorrow? Friday. It will be up Friday. Friday the 6th. Yeah, that was... Watch it tomorrow, you'll know what I mean. That was... Yeah... It, it was just, you know. And on that note, on a slightly less happy Ali G than earlier, the day is done. It's been a fucking weird one. I mean, work went all right. Didn't really do anything before that, but I'm just shocked. Work went all right. I'm fucking soaked on the way home from work, though. I need to stop doing this. I bought this chair and I said most of the time I'll be sitting in it, I'll just be fucking like swiveling around in it like I'm doing all the fucking time. I need to stop. Help me. I need to not sit on this fucking chair. I'll sit on my bed. There we go. Nope, that's uncomfortable. <sighs> Let's have a nice scenic view out of my window so you cannot see my face. Ah. Fine, we're back in the chair. Yes, I know it's only nine o'clock in the morning, but I just finished work. I'm allowed to drink. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Stop spinning!